Um, let me get your your opinion on this because in every weight class that you've been in, um, going up to fifty four, you said you wanted Jamel. Um, going up to sixty, you said you want Laura. When you were at forty, you fought every killer <laughs> alive, pretty yeah. much. So a guy who's kind of maybe not he's not as talkative. I mean, you're not as talkative as him, but um, Teofimo Lopez is. You know, talking a lot of shit <laughs> to Terrence Crawford, man. <laughs> like, what what would be like? Kind of, what, what do you, how do you kind of feel about it? And do you think he kind of has the skill to actually go up there and put in some work, man? You know, it's boxing. When you think you're the best, when you feel like you're the best, then you say how you feel. You know, Tio's gonna say what he wants to say, and Crawford's gonna say what he want to say. When, when you're at the top of your game, you feel like you can't be touched. Then you say what you want. You know, you can say what you want at the end of the day. Um, just got to back it up. But I feel like I, I would love to see that fight at 147. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's a great fight at 147 because Teal is a big – he's big and strong, you know, for 140. Like, when he dominated Taylor, like, I thought that was going to be a good fight. He just walked right through him. He was way stronger than him. He was faster than him. So him putting on weight actually helped him. Mm. And I feel like it probably helped him more at 147. Like, I would love to see that fight. I think that's a great fight at 147. Who would you kind of lean towards? Because you're probably like, I mean, first off, when you usually give a prediction, you're usually spot on. But you're like. Right, because at the end of the day, Crawford comes from 135 too. Mm. Yeah. So it's not like he's, right now he's naturally bigger because he's been at that weight longer. But both of them coming from 135, 140, 147. So they kind of, I know Crawford's probably taller than him, but and probably got longer arms, but. Probably like body type, they might have the same body type. Uh, but I don't know. That's a good fight. That's a good fight. Now, is, know, there any, is there anybody you could favor in that one, or eh, not really? And the two of the well, two you have to probably favor you have to probably favor Crawford because he's undisputed at that weight and he's been at that weight longer, so he might have the advantage at looking at that way, but um. He was also undisputed at 135 and beat the undisputed guy at 140. So on paper, it's an even fight, you know, on paper. It makes sense. When I look at – um, when I when I used to look at you, like, training and, like, up close, because I've seen you up close a bunch of times, especially outside of camp, and I'm just like, I don't know how the hell this dude's making 147, but, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> But like you're not going yeah. back, you're not, you're not going back down there. But does the party you kind of think about it only from the standpoint of um, Crawford is still there, of course. Um, Devin talks about he wants to go up to 147. Ryan might be going up there pretty soon. Tio says that he wants to go up there. Does the party you just look at it and say, "Yeah, they got a lot of money fights for me down there. I don't, might have to get on that diet." I, don't know. No, I can't. I can't. I can't make that way. I can barely make 154 now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't go back to 147. I feel like, uh, you know, I was a champion at 147. I fought some good fights. And I feel like my body, I've been at 140, 147 my whole entire career. So I feel like I needed my body to breathe. And that's why I feel like I look so good against Benavidez because I let my body breathe. I was able to train to get better. And I feel like going back to 147 right now at this point in my career will only hurt me and it, it, won't, it won't make me better.